I want to ask you is you spoke about being very sporty at school, but in the classroom, what was your best subject? I hated school. I hated school. I looked out the window uh, all the time. Um, that is very, very difficult. English, I'm going to go for. And we've heard a lot of music being pumped out of the changing rooms on match days. Yeah, but not my choice. It's horrendous. <laughs> if you were to choose the playlist, what would be on it? I'd have some bit of old school stuff. I'd have a bit of um, a bit of indie. I love acoustic music, so live acoustic. Probably if I had to pick one band, people hate it because they think it's bland. But I'd probably go for I'd probably go for Coldplay just because I like the just uh, the, the the length Very of good. yeah. Very but good. people hate me for that. You know, but no, I've got a should lot have said something cooler really. But that is just the truth. So you're going home after a long day training or match day, a long journey away from home, etc. What film are you putting on and also what TV series are you watching? I'm actually watching at the moment. I'm watching Queen of the South. I'm watching someone's recommended it. Um, pretty good so far. Quite like it. Um, one film. Oh, that's, that's really difficult. If I had to watch one film, I think I'd go for... I'd go... I'd probably go... Uh, <laughs> that's hard how can you only how can you pick, <laughs> how can you pick one film that's well a couple then well, a couple of films I'd go for like a Shawshank Redemption or I'd go for um, I'd go for like the Bourne Identity films a Br- like every set I could watch it 20 times watch it I'd go for a couple of Bond films I could just watch over and over again yeah, Bond films um, Very yeah cool. I think I'd I think I'd go for for something like that I, w- I wouldn't go too artsy now we've seen players have superstitions before games or during games after games do you have any? Um, I claim I don't I claim I'm not superstitious at all but I I, I, I will know how many magpies I see um, which is ridiculous because I've lost them one haven't seen one or two so it makes no difference um, if I've won I'll try to wear the same stuff so if you wear, see me wearing a horrendous pair of trainers it's probably because I've won in them previously or, or I haven't lost in them um, so that's something I tend to do um, but other than that not not really Is there any weird superstitions you've seen from players maybe not just in this Millwall squad but over time as well Yes so, whether it's a superstition or not I don't know Steve Claridge when I was his boot boy and um, well Steve at Millwall he was at Millwall wasn't he yeah. yeah. he's he a great guy Steve but it's like real strange individual <laughs> wasn't he and um I used to have to clean his boots after every game and what he used to give me a black bin liner full of boots and he'd only ever have about four studs in them because he felt because it was uncomfortable if he had studs in certain parts of his boot he didn't have inner soles that was uncomfortable and his boots had little patches all over them like where he just must have glued them all together his favourite boots and sometimes he'd have odd ones on and it was like the most bizarre experience as a boot boy. Was Every he a good Christmas tip, or did it depend? No, on it's horrendous. He used and to give me, like, John Taylor used to give me about twenty five quid, and and, and Claridge used to give me about five. <laughs> yeah, no, he was, he was pretty pretty poor tipper as well. But in fairness, I didn't actually really clean his boots. You just wipe them down the cloth. <laughs> so if you use the old wire brush at the time, you'd have just ripped his boots to shreds. So so, um, but he's a great guy, um, but poor tipper. Mm. Now, obviously, which is ironic because he used to. Give a lot of tips out, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be put, fair, some might save the poor tip. Yeah. I used to have to go and put bets on for him at half time. <laughs> As his boot boy, yeah, he'd send me down to the bookies at half time sometimes. So, um, yeah, but top nine. Obviously, in this current climate, holidays aren't really something we can go on at the moment. But if you're no. jetting off to somewhere, where are you going? Um, it's a little hotel me and my wife love called Bill and Coo in Mykonos. It's a really boutique hotel, small. We get to know the staff. It's a, just a wonderful location. Um, somewhere like a Capri. If I had to, do you know what? If I had to choose one place and I could guarantee the weather was good, um, I'd go down to Cornwall. I'd go down anywhere between Watergate Bay and Poles F, anywhere on that coast. And I think it, you can't get a, you can't get a better place to take your family the problem is it's usually piddling it down in it and freezing cold so um but but as, a, as an actual place in a coastline i think it's the most stunning coastline around so yeah I'd, I'd go down there but you'd have to give me the sun just lastly um is there anything about you that people wouldn't usually know such as do you have any hidden talents or anything like that <laughs> unfortunately not no not really um 
Uh, it's, it's way too boastful for me, I think that is. I'd, I'd prefer to stay slightly lower key. Don't think I've got any hidden talents at all. No, if it was Joe, I'd go for his singing voice, um, but I, I certainly haven't got that type of singing voice. So, so no, not really. No, I, I wouldn't stand there and say anything as a hidden talent. No, my, all my all my talents or lack of them are exposed to the world as a manager of a football club, unfortunately. So, uh, so yeah.